television in Germany began in Berlin on March 22, 1935, broadcasting for 90 minutes three times a week. It was the first public television station in the world, named Fernseh Sender Paul Nifko. The German television market had approximately 36.5 million television households in 2000, making it the largest television market in Europe. Nowadays, 95% of German households have at least one television receiver. All the main German TV channels are free to air. History in 1948 the British occupation forces allowed NWD to broadcast television programs for the British zone. Other regional networks also started to launch television in their own areas. Meanwhile, the GDR was launching its own television service, Deutsche Fernsehfunk, based on the Soviet model. A regular schedule began through the cooperation of all ARD members in 1954. Basic principles in the central areas of entertainment, Information and enlightenment were established and television plays developed as the medium's own specific art form. Improvements in technology and programming, as well as reduced prices, led to a steady increase in license holders, and the number of licenses passed the 1 million mark in October 1957. On April 1, 1963, the long-promised second TV network, the Zweitz Deutsches Fernsehen started. Unlike ARD, which was regionalized and had its roots in radio, ZDF was a centrally organized channel devoted solely to television. On August 25, 1967, at 9.30 a.m. on both ARD and ZDF, Vice-Chancellor Willy Brandt started the era of color TV in West Germany by pressing a symbolic launch button at the International Radio and TV Fair in West Berlin. East Germany started DFF2 in 1969, and introduced color programming on both channels. In 1972, the DFF was renamed, dropping the pretense of being an all-Germany service and becoming Fernseh and Air DDR or DDRFS. Its two channels became known as DDR1 and DDR2. The first two privately financed TV networks, RTL Plus and SAT1, started their programming in West Germany in 1984, after reunification. The TV stations of the German Democratic Republic were dissolved and the remnants were used to found new regional networks, for example the Mitteldeutsche Rundfunk, as part of the ARD. In addition, more private TV stations opened, becoming available through cable, satellite and in some cases, over the airwaves. Market Today, with almost 40 million TV households, 365 TV channels licensed in Germany and a total market volume of a 9,615 million in 2008, Germany represents one of the biggest and most diversified TV markets in the world. The strongest revenue segment in Germany is public funding, followed by advertising and subscription. This dominant market position of public and ad-funded free TV channels in Germany explains why the German pay TV segment is significantly underperforming in an international comparison. In terms of total TV viewing market shared Germany's market leaders in 2014 were again the two biggest public service broadcasters and the two leading commercial channels. The leading pay TV provider was Sky Deutschland. The biggest tel shopping providers in Germany are QVC and HSE24. With 19.8 million TV households cable still is the dominant TV infrastructure in Germany, followed by satellite and terrestrial. In a 2010 survey half of German television viewers said they often found nothing to watch on television. The Germanophone sphere is the largest market for dubbing in Europe. Foreign TV shows and other formats are often dubbed into German, while subtitled formats with the original language are also becoming more popular. Channels The channels with the largest viewing share in 2014 are, the combined share of ARD's so-called third programs was 12.4% in 2014. Equals Subscription Channels Equals Germany's sole subscription channel Premier had its heyday around the millennium. Premier offered telecasts of the German Football League, the Bundesliga. The Bundesliga was Premier's cash cow, but they lost the broadcasting rights in 2006 to a newly formed competitor, Arena. Premier was the brainchild of the former television czar, Leo Kirch. 
he went into insolvency after a decade of losing viewers from his subscription channel, DF1. The company regained some ground with its new manager Georg Koffler. It is trying to get viewers back by purchasing new international shows and then introducing them to German viewers. Koffler and Kirch bought international movies from American film studios in advance so they could broadcast them one year after their release. Normally, American movies are shown on non-subscription channels three years after their release. Premiere offers a combination of multiple channels featuring Animal Planet, the Discovery Channel and the Disney Channel. Plus several themed channels for music, crime and sport. In 2005, several German cable companies created a new challenger to Premiere, Arena. The participating companies are IEC and ISH through their combined partnership called Unity Media. Arena, a rather small company, wanted to buy the pay TV rights to the German Bundesliga and won by a decision of the marketing directorate of the DFL. The rights to broadcast the Bundesliga is regarded as lucrative in the German television market, so previous rights holders Premier suffered a wounding blow to their business model. Arena held the rights from 2006 to 2008. Further negotiations were due in 2008 for the broadcasting of the Bundesliga. Public Broadcasters As stated above, the ARD was the first German broadcasting station. It has a federally orientated structure. At present, nine regional TV stations cooperate to produce programs for the TV network known as Das Erste, Norddeutsche Rundfunk Euro North German Broadcasting Euro Hamburg, Lower Saxony, Schleswig Holstein and Mecklenburg Vorpommern, Radio Bremen Euro also a television broadcaster Euro Bremen, Rundfunk Berlin Brandenburg Euro Berlin Brandenburg Broadcasting Euro Berlin and Brandenburg. Mitteldeutsche Rundfunk Euro Central German Broadcasting Euro Saxony, Saxony Anhalt and Thuringia, Westdeutsche Rundfunk Euro West German Broadcasting Euro North Rhine Westphalia, Hessische Rundfunk Euro Hessian Broadcasting Euro Hess, Tsar One Quarter Dost Rundfunk Euro Southwestern Broadcasting Euro Baden Wa One Quarter Rutenberg and Rhineland Palatinate, Saler Currency Indische Rundfunk Euro Saland Broadcasting Euro Saland Bavarische Rundfunk Euro Bavarian State Broadcasting Euro Bavaria, seven of these broadcasters run their own regional TV programs, most of them use several frequencies and show local opt-outs. While multi-state broadcasters NDR, RBB, MDR and SWR have state versions, BR and WDR have regional opt-outs below state level. Some small regions, such as Bremen and the Saarland, have their own broadcasting stations, mainly for historical reasons. They only contribute to the nationwide TV program Das Erst and produce a state opt-out for their neighbor broadcaster. Reception Equals Satellite Equals Digital satellite television has been available in Germany since 1996. Prior to May 2012, most of the 30-plus TV stations broadcast their satellite signal using both analog and digital. However, all analog satellite broadcasts ceased on April 30, 2012. There is currently a single pay TV satellite operator in Germany, Sky Deutschland. Prior to being known as Sky, the service was named Premier. It got into serious financial trouble due to its early and proprietary usage of encryption. Subsequently, Premier was bought by News Corporation and renamed Sky in keeping with their satellite services elsewhere in Europe and Sky Italia. HDTV via satellite, in late 2004 German channel group ProSieben showed a BBC documentary and a self-produced TV movie in 1080i via MPEG2 DVBS, followed by the Hollywood films Spider-Man and Men in Black 2 in March 2005. These were intended to be a test for future commercial HD services. Regular free-to-air broadcast of the HD versions of ProSieben and Sat1 began on October 26, 2005. Unlike the test broadcasts, DVBS2 and MPEG4 AVC were used. Both ProSieben HD and Sat1 HD ceased their unencrypted broadcasts in 2008. Encrypted HD broadcasting of both channels resumed under the HD Plus brand in January 2010. Premiere after several delays, 
started broadcasting 3HD channels a Euro one each dedicated to films, sports and documentaries a Euro in November 2005, although there were virtually no suitable, certified receivers available on the market. The content was also sparse and thus often repeated. Sky reuses its proprietary digital rights management system embedded into its content scrambling system from SD broadcasts to block analog output of the movie channel from the receiving set-top box altogether, only allowing HDCP secure transmissions. The other channels are less restricted. On November 1, 2009 the Premium HD Plus service launched with two channels, RTL HD and Vox HD, with SAT1 HD. ProSieben HD and Cabell Ains HD joining the service in January 2010. DSF HD began test broadcasts in August 2010 and launched fully on HD Plus on November 1, 2010, followed by 6 HD and RTL 2 HD on December 1, 2010. In June 2011, Comedy Central HD, Nickelodeon HD and N24 HD joined service, bringing the number of channels offered to 11. In April 2011, HD Plus became available to Sky Deutschland subscribers without the need for an HD Plus CAM and viewing card. Currently all satellite HD TV channels are broadcast using the H264 codec. As of July 2014, most material is upscaled SD content. Free to air HD TV via satellite. Prior to April 30, 2012 there were eight free-to-air HD TV channels originating in Germany broadcast via satellite, Das Erst HD, ZDF HD, Art HD, Annex HD, Ains Festival HD, Sonnenkla, TV HD, QVC HD and HSE 24 HD. After April 30, 2012, when all analog satellite broadcasts ceased, Ten additional FTA HD channels became available, Phoenix HD, NDR HD, WDR HD, BR HD, SWR HD, ZDFNEO HD, ZFINFO HD, ZFCULTUR HD, 3SAT HD and KIKA HD. From December 2013 on all PSB channels except ARD Alpha, Senior Fancyan and Radio Bremen TV are available in HD. Equals cable equals, cable transmission is still mostly analog with usually about 30 available channels. DVBC transmission started in 2004 with pay TV premiere and digital versions of the analog channels. The rather late changeover to DVB was caused both by the long process of selling the infrastructure of former monopolist Deutsche Telekom to others and the fact that the cable network ends at the curb or property with the in-house cable and large apartment buildings being operated by a different company. Due to this, the new owners of Deutsche Telekom's cable network were in many cases not able to offer new products directly to the viewer. By 2006, there were three major cable operators, Unity Media in Hesse, North Rhine-Westphalia and baden wawan quarter rutenberg and by far the largest, Kabel Deutschland in the other 13 states. Today, all companies offer about 200 TV channels by DVBC, which includes some 70 channels at no extra charge as well as a number of pay-per-view offers and subscription-based packages. In addition to that pay TV broadcaster Sky Deutschland is also available. In some very large apartment complexes a number of local and national companies operate an in-house cable network which is fed solely by its own satellite antenna on the building, not the local cable operator. The satellite channels are either transcoded into analog transmission, receivable by any TV set without extra equipment, or into DVBC. As of 2014, still 17.2% of Germany transmits television with analog cable signals, compared to 29.1% of digital cable. This similar to the situation in the Netherlands, Sweden and Belgium, where analog cable is also still widely used equals terrestrial equals, terrestrial reception had lost most of its users by the 1990s due to extensive cable and satellite coverage. In a two-step process analog terrestrial TV broadcasting in the states of Berlin and Brandenburg was switched off in 2003 and replaced by DVB-T. In 2005, about two-thirds of Germany's states began to replace analog transmission. By 2006, 
all metropolitan and most rural areas had moved to digital transmission. Today, only foreign army bases and some local TV stations still broadcast on analog. While the public broadcasters ARD and ZDF transmit throughout Germany, commercial stations are only available within metropolitan areas, so the number of available channels varies between about 10 and 30. All channels are free to air and the broadcasters rent transmission services directly from a transmitter operator, usually, media broadcast. ARD stations also use their own transmitters. As of 2015 there are plans to switch over from DVB-T with MPEG-2 encoding to DVB-T2 with HEVC encoding. ZDF and RTL already confirmed that they will broadcast in 1080p at 50fps. The switchover will occur in steps. Series Almost all fictional programs on German television are regular TV series. While the public broadcaster, S, predominantly own, S, the productions that are broadcast, the private stations networks often put on series licensed from abroad, mainly the United States. Peaking in the 1990s, the private channels had aired self-produced series such as Der Clown, Alarm Far One Quarter A Cobra Eleven A Euro Die Autobahn Polze, The Sentinel, Alpha Team, The Lifesaver and Oplia Wolf's Turf with great success. Since the late 2000s, the amount of original series on the private broadcasters has markedly declined. The highest rated series is the crime drama to Tort, which airs almost every Sunday on public broadcaster ARD. It has run since 1970 and has featured several casts that are not related to each other. Internationally German TV productions are widely unknown. The lack of entertaining narratives have proved unsuccessful for an international audience. See also Telecommunications in Germany, List of television stations in Germany, List of German language television channels, List of German television series, German television comedy. References